well, now we have some official plans from the literal big cheese on what the future of Marvel Studios looks like and what the output is going to be. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about what Bob Iger had to say and what impact it's going to have on Marvel Studios. They are doing a little more than pumping the brakes. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. I'm not the only one that has noticed that in recent years, many Marvel projects simply haven't landed the way they used to. As a matter of fact, recently Kevin Feige said you would have to be living under a rock to have not have noticed how Marvel has really lost some of its energy and drive at the box office and with fans. Now, the likes of The Eternals, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and The Marvels, well, they all pretty much received negative or mixed reviews and struggled at the box office. And this caused Marvel to kind of realign in this new quality over quantity approach. But it's never really been clear what this is going to look like as far as release schedule and what we'll get to see from Marvel. Now recently, Disney had their Q2 physical earnings call, and the big cheese himself, CEO of Disney Bob Iger, really chimed in and announced his plans to reshape the MCU slate and what it's going to look like moving forward on the big and small screen. During the earnings call, he said, I've been working hard with the studio to reduce output and focus more on quality. That's particularly true with Marvel. We're going to decrease volume and go to probably two TV series a year instead of what had become four and reduce our film output from maybe four a year to two or at the maximum three. And we're working hard on what the path is. We've got a couple good films in 25 and we're headed into more Avengers and we're extremely excited about that. Overall, I feel great about Slate. It's something I've committed to spending more and more time on. The team is one I have tremendous confidence in and the IP is what we're mining, including all the sequels that we're doing is second to none. Now, let's break down what Iger said here because it's pretty clear. Marvel was hitting television shows at at least four per year and that clearly was straining the whole process. That now has been reduced to two. As far as movies go, we're probably also going to see usually two films a year and occasionally three, but Marvel will no longer try to churn out four or five television shows and four movies per year. It was pretty obvious to everybody they were stretched super thin, and it seems like Iger has now quantified a number on what we can expect from Marvel Studios and this should help clarify the schedule. Now, this is interesting because Deadpool and Wolverine is the only thing releasing in 2024, but the schedule has Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Fantastic Four, and Blade landing in 2025. So I'm starting to feel like at least one of these movies could indeed be pushed. And if I was guessing which one, I honestly think it would likely be Blade. I'm expecting a schedule reshuffle for Marvel very, very soon. And I have to wonder about some of these Disney Plus series that kind of started to explode in many directions, and now they're reeling them back in. So what happens to shows like Ironheart, Wonder Man, and that rumored Vision Quest series, all of which felt like they lacked a little bit of fan hype and didn't have a clear path into the primary story? I think we're going to get news of some cancellations from Marvel Studios, but for me, I'm really glad to hear Marvel is adjusting the schedule and focusing on quality. They've got some big things coming our way in the near future. I think the biggest is going to be Daredevil Born Again, which they basically did a full reboot on production and have finished the first year. This is the kind of news we want from Marvel Studios at this point. It indicates very real clarity on the problem, because that kind of denial is what has destroyed franchises in the past. Now, I really don't think Marvel is going anywhere. I think this is exactly what they should be doing to kind of trim the fat and increase the quality. And hopefully, by the end of 2025, the narrative will be so different, maybe they start stretching themselves back out a little bit and give us more. But we're going to have to wait and see.